All right, I'm going to start this one with a pun. This is your warning. We're at Mish again here today because we just got back from Arca here, and it was a fun race. Uh, but we're in the B car this time. It's B open. Um, I'm actually sticking to trying to do more open races so far uh, this season. They've been pretty fun. Um, mixed results a couple of times, but uh, always enjoy doing some strategy and such. So, um, these cars have always been kind of tough for me. Never feel like I have them quite figured out. But, um, seems like a fun drive green flag, green flag, here today. Okay. Here Give it my best shot. Uh, it certainly takes some focus. <laughs> Because it gets loose. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well. I just, I can't do, I think the fast way around here is to do the cut down line, but you can actually get a decent time just running the top, so I think I'm going to have to just do that my second lap here. And uh, at least I'll have a consistent time. Because boy, I stink trying to do the fast quote unquote line. One more lap. Go figure that high sides where I want to be. <laughs> so. Got a uh, OSR set up in. Hopefully not blowing an engine here in a moment. I put some, I have 80% tape right now. I, I tested 90 and it survived the two laps. So I was like, all right, I'll make it 80. <laughs> we'll see if it survives both laps. Uh, these are not good laps, though. So that was a 39.432, and this was a 279. Chicken flag, chicken flag. All right. Well, not great, but uh, has a lot to do with the fact that I messed up the first lap. All right, Colton. Um, water temperature. It's looking a little high. Let me make sure I remember to get the tape off of this thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now, because if I keep going, I'm just going to blow an engine anyway. Um, I'm nice and prepared for green flag pit stops should it be necessary, which it could be. Seems like the Michigan can be a pretty clean car race to show up at. Seems like it can be pretty good clean racing, so uh, we might actually get those laps in. Not sure how my uh, setup stacks up. I think my setup should be fine. I think I'm just not. I don't have the talent. <laughs> Because anytime I try to do that, uh, the normal Michigan line, one lane up, I just, I get too loose. So, um, I think maybe this is set up for a longer run. Maybe that's why. Got my brake bias set at 50. I think I'm actually going to move that about 52. Because I don't think it's ever going to come into play. Maybe. Maybe. But, <laughs> not too likely. Um. I feel like the tires would really have to fall off, and it looks to me like the right rear is actually burning off faster. So it should be getting looser, perhaps. Uh, that's good, I think. Uh, great strength of field. We're at the 13 out of 29. So we get some strong competition here today. I believe. I don't know if this is the Kale Gale that actually races in NASCAR, or raced in NASCAR. I don't know if he still does. The actual Kale Gale. But uh, maybe. Doesn't seem like that common of a name. But, uh, yeah, lots of names. A couple names I recognize. Lots of them I don't. I feel like I'm going to start uh, recognizing more the more I do open races, because you kind of get your regulars in the fixed series, and then you get the regulars in the open series. and Some overlap, but uh, not as much. That's the end of the session. P18. Make sure, okay, 58, that's good. 16 to 1. All that seems to be ready to go. And uh, speaking of ready to go, we're ready to go on track. I'm going to be taking it easy this race. I'm expecting long run. We don't have the data. I've got crew chief ready. Didn't have that the last open race I did, so I had to ugh, do math. Thankfully, I didn't have to do too much in that race, but now I have the cheat sheet. Okay, 
and we got three sets of tires for 65 laps. I'm excited. I think it should be a good race. Uh, you do get a bit of the typical B car, like weird floatiness on the straightaway yeah. sometimes. Yes, we hear you. That's always fun. Let's adjust my volumes a little bit. You get that weird, like, floatiness on the straightaway, kind of after you get out of the corner. Kind of feels like you're uh, in a sailboat being blown around by the wind. <laughs> so, that's interesting. But, uh. I don't know. I'm just gonna avoid doing too much side by side racing early on. I think I'm gonna take a conservative approach to this one, if only to keep the tires on it. It'd be nice to be in a position once where I'm not falling back at the end of the run, but rather moving forward. I don't put myself in that position often enough. And, uh, it feels good once you get, once you, you have better tires than other guys, and you can kind of just effortlessly start good. carving your way through the field. So let's try to get that. Try to make that a reality. You have three. We've right. got this like sideways start here, so I'm gonna have to make sure everyone's caught up by the time we actually go green. Follow Bigger up, field uh, like this and an open race. Kind of wonder if the back of the field is gonna be able to get there in time. How many people we got? 29. Big field. Good job, Mike. Thank you, buddy. And we're off. Catch up to no speed limit in the pits, only your initial go, so... Think about that. One left we're going to be on the outside, because we qualified 18th with our stanky lap. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to be trying to make sure I don't spin it early on. So lots of lifting. Lots of easy on the throttle. It says we have 64 estimated laps. That's not accurate though, I'm sure. And I know we're definitely going to need fuel at some point. I would imagine, right? <laughs> it's an open race. Some space up ahead between a couple of cars. And if they plan on reeling that in. We are not going for whatever reason. I'm not going to be that guy and take it three wide immediately. A little bit of lift never hurt anybody on the first lap. 65 lap race. This guy is really taking it easy. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Kind of trying not to get run over from behind. Would like to keep up with the field. And not get run over from behind. Like I said, like checking up for this guy. I'm not necessarily all that interested in going fast, but I'm also not so interested in being punted into the corner. They might have really loose setups to start off for the long run. That could be why they, uh, why they uh, are slower off the start. Everyone's kind of having a little bit different of an experience depending on what setup they got in, so. Alright, hopefully we settle in and have some good green flag runs. That's all you can really hope for, right? Definitely turning. I like it. Just gotta be careful. Roger, next time you do that film, I'll let you go. I don't want to wreck on that first. I'm 
I was feeling a little bit of arrow push maybe from this group ahead. Not sure how much arrow push you get for the B car. Sure it exists though. Sure it is a factor. It's probably not as much of a factor as some of the uh, more downforce heavy cars. Catching up to this little pack here. So again, setups from uh, old school racing forums. .net, OSR racing, OSR, OS racing, I guess is how you would say it. Oh. Seems like a fine set to me. Like I kind of said before, I think my talent is what's holding me back here. And uh, maybe it's just uh, less, more of a long term set, so that maybe that's why uh, qualifying didn't go too well, aside from the fact I messed it up. <laughs> Just gonna chill out for a bit. Pass if I need to, but I'm not gonna force anything. Uh oh, okay. Alright, not what you wanna see. Going harder mid late corner than these guys, but I feel like it's rotating well enough that I'm not too worried about how it's affecting the tires. If anything, I feel like it's burning off that right rear, and that's kind of what I want. So. Okay with how it feels in that regard. I might learn later that I shouldn't have been pushing so hard. That's, uh, well, of course I'm going to be learning things. And uh, this is I'm not so fun, uh, not so familiar with. Real slow mid corner. I think I want to get by him. So I'm just kind of getting held up right here. But uh, fortunately, the guy behind us is going to be taking that. Taking the leap, that's why I don't want to get stuck behind so long, because I'm going to just get... You guys come on by us. So maybe he'll uh, make an opening and we can follow him through. Looked like he was taking it pretty wide there. They weren't quite uh, in that spot. A little bit of a push there. Interesting. God, it's 12. I've raced against him before. And, uh,. I give it a low review. You know, to give him lots of extra space. Is an inch away from me right now. I'm a fan of the way he dives in to the corners, runs people over.
Oopsie Oopsie Doopsie Still rotating. Fun to drive. Been enjoying these Michigan races this week so far. There goes 12, drifting up multiple lanes. He's a weapon. I'm sorry. It's just every time I race him, he's causing problems. He's fast, but he's causing a wreck half the time, too. Sorry. That's what I've seen. Don't want a reputation. Drive a little better. Clear inside. Turn it in a little prematurely, 28. Bump drafting, guys. So slow mid to late corner. Got a little sideways there. About to door a guy on the straightaway. <sighs> so much space on this track, too. <laughs> Be dooring guys on a straightaway. He makes his passes by scaring the bejeebus out of people, I guess. So they have to get out of his way and ruin their corner. That's what it looks like, diving in. Driving way too close. Alright, I'll shut my mouth about it, though. Focus on my own race. Though, to be fair, it kind of directly affects me if there's going to be a wreck. Directly in front of where I am. No cautions yet. Seems like we might need to do that green flag stop. Sliding out of the corner. <laughs> Getting weird on exit and on the straightaway. As the car tends to do. We're blocked right now. Couple of guys. I'm gonna try to push this guy through. Car outside. Keep low. Keep low. I drive through the loose, but killed our runoff. Hey, fun racing. Quite intense. Ah, so loose. I don't know if it's because I'm side by side with him and it's causing the arrow to do weird stuff or I'm just that bad, but. Keep low. Still there. Almost cleared him. Not quite. got our door. Our right uh, our right rear quarter panel. He's just hanging on like a booger. Oh. 
can't get the pass done. It's killing me. Just let it go. Killing us both. Oh my god. So loose. Well, heck. Keep low. Go low. Hmm. It's so crazy loose down here. Clear outside. All right, fine. Back to single file. I welcome that. Just couldn't get that pass done and it just destroyed all our speed. The booger wins. I just don't think I'm talented enough to uh, take advantage of this loose setup. I think I would need more practice, or maybe even to change uh, the ratio to 14 to 1. That might have been the play. Help catch these slides a little better. Because right now it's, it's pretty tough on me. Three wide. And they're spinning? Quite. Darn close, though. I'm going to try the high side. Car inside. Clear. Jesus, so loose on exit. Ah, oh, I'm in the wall. Because I didn't practice the high side enough. There I am, in the wall, like a dork. My miles, this guy can get by, it's fine. Inside. Clear. These B cars are my kryptonite, man. I feel like I have all my worst races in terms of speed in these cars. So we're passing this guy back because we got a massive run. Keep low. Keep low. Clear high. Yellow flag is oh, out. yellow flag! So much for a uh, green flag pit stops, I guess. On the back stretch. And we're gonna fill it up. We're gonna get tires. And try to not be so stinky the next half of the race. I might run high side. I might just. Straight up run the high side. I think I can be more consistent there. I think I'm just better at running the high side. And if the setup's just gonna continue getting looser, or stay loose, you know, maybe it's not so bad if uh, I'm wearing the tires out. I don't know.
like to catch the field. It's getting loose on the yellow flag. Just a tiny bit. Looks like we're checking up on the backstretch. Sure, right, if I'm going to be able to live up to the 13th here. I just don't feel too good. I feel like I'm doing too well. Usually not all that great in this car, and um, maybe needed some more practice. I don't know. I did my normal amount of practice, but it's uh, I'm having a tough time keeping up with uh, the leader, how this car's feeling. Mid lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Box in five, four, three. Two, one. Box now. Let's okay. <laughs> Optional repairs. Oh, I hit the wall. That's right. Not gonna worry about that. That's probably affecting it. Not at all. We're done. Get going. Ooh, don't speed. <laughs> Get close there for a second. Line up, single file. Okay. Found our spot. Probably just about the same place we were. Felt like I was a little slow entering the box because I couldn't see. Catch the 14. Car. And I probably could have revved it up a little bit. Pulling out of the box. Catch the 14. Car. Have just enough to get us to the end. Ooh, just enough to get to the end, it says, so we're gonna save a little bit. Not sure how accurate that is, but just enough tells me we want to make it a little bit more than just enough. We'll do a little bit of this. Put my clutch in. Roll. One to go, okay, next time Carlton, by. You're on the Where's outside this time. This lap. You got plenty of fuel. Now it's saying plenty of fuel. 50 estimated laps. Yeah, it is okay, pretty close, eight, especially yeah. if we end up with green white checkered, so. Save a little bit. I feel like we should be fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> Should be okay. Catch the eight car. <laughs> we are now in eighteenth. We're gonna try running the high side this time around. Start. That's what I remember. You've got loads of fuel. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens on the start here, as guys are probably loose. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Oh, I blocked the leader all of a sudden. Green flag. Green flag. Let's see. Still there, inside. Still inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Loose. Whew. Inside. 
Squad. Still there, bottom. Still there, hold your line. Still there, move side. Hey, baby. Keep high. You're up top, three wide. Top three wide, it says. Hold your line. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Come Clear on. inside. Car inside. Oh, our race is right. Clear. Inside. That's it. That's over. I mean, we're damaged. Still Didn't bring out a caution. Clear inside. I was in my line. How about you? Car inside. <sighs> Clear inside. Why me? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Car inside. Stay high. Is that the same guy? Still there at the bottom. Still not being able to turn. Awesome. Still there inside. Cool dude. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. That's so broken. Clear inside. Water too. Oh, just getting up. high. We're gonna blow an engine, aren't we? The yellow flag is out. So I want you to see. Single file. The wrecking behind us after the yellow. Just a bunch of goofballs. I think it was a 20 again. Oh, just if I had the wrong guy. Not apologize. <laughs> no apologies if you are the guy that ran into me. Because you are a cotton headed ninny muggins. That's my holiday insult. I'm going to take tires, I guess. Because I feel like we might have. We're, uh, 69. We're gonna need the extra tire advantage if we want any chance, and it could go green, could not, but I'm gonna try to fix all the, fix all the damage. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Cal, if that was me, I'm sorry, man. Do take some tape off since we have some run-in damage. Try to prevent Three it from now, blowing up. I'm actually gonna go even more with it. Maybe overdoing it, but well, you're not going to finish well if your engine detonates. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. in the pits way far back for no reason. It's fine, you got loads. What do I care? You're gonna be in last anyway. Five. Coming up on Four. halfway here. Yeah. Three. Two. One. Box now. Okay, Colton. We're about halfway point. Can you estimate 33? Lumps remaining on this tank. Because we're 9897. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just because the only way we're gonna gain Anything, it's the only advantage we might have is like a couple percentage on tires. I don't know what else I could have done there, 20. I was up against the wall. Well, we're fixing our garbage. Is this, uh, when did it happen? Yeah, there it is. Honestly, it could have went either way. I had about another quarter of a car towards the wall. Guy does the same mistake twice. That's called not learning. Should be able to fix all this. Okay, 
Hey, speed's pretty fast here, so you kind of careful. Fixed a lot of it, though. Do we finish? No, we're gonna have a hard time catching up. I was gonna say, are we gonna finish fixing the damage? But I don't think that is necessary. Because I don't think we're gonna catch up to the field in time if we stop again. Let's so, make sure we're caught up to the field and hopefully we're not too off the pace. It seems like we have decent speed. Might not be over yet in terms of actually being able to compete somewhat. I'm not gonna have. Well, we never did, but I'm not gonna have anywhere near the uh, front of the pack pace. But, like I said, we never did anyway, so. We'll keep going, see what happens. Get ready, going green. Ice car is in. Green flag, green flag. Going on going today. Hey, buddy. Outside. Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Inside. Back in house, so I guess we're going through the middle. Clear inside. Hopefully our temps are okay. Took that tape off. The car's definitely faster. Um, now that I fixed the damage, it feels like it's got some weird aero stuff going on, though. So that's unfortunate. Feels like the might be turning a little weird now. Nothing too catastrophic, but not ideal. Lose or something? You got penalty? Interesting. Here. Ah. <sighs> See what we can salvage. Just have some fun with it, I guess. It's less loose now. That's bad. <laughs> but at least I can control it better. Hello, I'm here. Why? Why? Jesus Christ! Carlo, hello. Your water temperature is creeping up. We're under caution. He's ready for some tires. I thought open's supposed to be cleaner. This is garbage. I saw him thinking about it, and he just kept. He just did it. Are you freaking blind in your left eye? What's happening? You got in the two different cars. You nerd, you got me a black flag on that last week's Hopefully my audio is okay and I didn't blow out the speakers, but I'm freaking angry, man. Those people Apology, suck man. ass. Apology. That caution was perfect, though. Oh, yeah. Deep roads open. It's open. Suck the suck, though. Sorry. But I guess I do too, because I'm back here. So frustrating, man. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Loads of fuel. 
Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. How much damage do we have now? Oh, good. Five freaking minutes. <sighs> okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are looking better now. No reason he should be that far down the track. Unbelievable. What are you doing? Drift up a little bit because this lets us what this car does on straightaways. It's drifty. But why? Why are you here? I don't get it, man. Look at all this space. As blatant as I thought, but Jesus Christ, We're man. done. Get going. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Jet start 25, car. Does all racing just suck on iRacing? I thought open racing was going to be a beacon, a light at the end of the tunnel here, but... <sighs> Look how slow we are. <sighs> and to hope for another caution. That guy on the apron. Hang on, we're not going green. In the not delayed not green, going green Hang on, we're not going green. Not going green. Pass that 25 car. How hard is it? 19 just started towards the wall. I don't know. Must have disconnected or something. VR or some shit. Hey, 21, is there a imaginary car or two in between you and the guy in front of you that I just don't see? Sorry about that, guys. One to go. Next time, he's back. Your water temperature looks quite high. Oh, the water temperature is high. Good. Now we're gonna blow the engine. I said I would start uh, uploading the bad races too. So I guess this is going out even though I'm just road raging. Left up, 19, carbine. We're gonna get it sorted out in time or we're gonna get another delayed. going to be off the pace, so I'll be on the low side. Let him know so they don't run into the back of me. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag.
I hope is that we get another uh, quick yellow flag. It seems like they're starting to come in bunches here. Fortunately, I thought it was going to be a clean race, but I guess we have to hope for it now. I'm going to blow our engine, though. We have to come into pit if uh start flashing or something. We're just flat footed now. With how much speed we've lost, about twenty miles an hour off the pace. Having fun, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm in such a bad mood. Uh, not, uh, I'm not sure what to talk about when things go so poorly, and I'm just kind of tilted. <laughs> like, man, nice open track we have ahead of us. What a lovely day. Water temp's getting high. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go fix uh, more damage so we don't blow our engine. We tried to catch the quick caution. It's uh, not gonna happen. And if the engine blows, then uh, we're just basically done for good, so... Come. Watch your speed. you got plenty of fuel. So our race was, has been ruined by... A guy that is blind in his right eye, and then our race gets ruined by a guy blind in his left eye. Together, making one blind individual. And we suffer! So, here we're gonna sit, fix some repairs. Hope that we're the first car lap down, probably not. Nope, there he goes, here goes our lucky dog. We get a uh, caution before they come around again. We might be able to take the wave around, but we can't stay out with the engine about to blow. We're gonna just sit here and out, I guess. Mope around. There goes our wave around. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. Oh good, the engine temperatures are uh, good when the car's off. So at least we won't blow our engine while sitting in a stopped car that is turned off. Gotta look at the bright side, you know. And on your right, you'll see some guys having fun. There they go. Bye-bye. Also see uh, at least one person who can't be against the wall on the straightaway. I guess they're powered by NASCAR eat NASCAR ignition AI where they drive on the straightaway like in the middle of the track. us that's uh he's on track still does not look like it we got the 20 who took us out earlier in the race 
At least we're uh, having a better race than the guy that's potentially a real driver. I guess he got wrecked earlier. I remember them uh, saying something about it. But I guess it's going to go green uh, to the end now that I'm not part of the race. World's best complaining simulator. That's what this race has become. Turn the car on. If uh, we fix all this damage and the car still wants to blow its engine, we're just going to have to pull it in and be done, unfortunately. We're essentially done anyway. The only thing we're hoping for is a big wreck that uh, takes people out of the race with too much required pair to even get back on track. Move it, move it. And then we scavenge. It's the only thing we can hope for. But like I said, it looks like they want to actually have green flag racing now that uh, we're no longer a factor. still super slow. I'll be uh, impressed if we make it up to 180 at the end of this stretch. Oh, that looks like we'll be okay. Yeah, we made it 180. Okay. Well, the boy and the, the crew did a decent job fixing it up. Still should be about one in the 190s, though. It's not where we need to be. We're at uh, 95, 93. They got torn up after sliding. <sighs> How many laps down are we? It's not turning because it's damaged. Water temperature is getting high again. Six laps down. Yeah, I think what's going to happen here is our engine's going to start getting close to blowing again, and then we're just going to get off the track, because I don't want to end up stalled on the track and causing a yellow and ruining uh, the race for guys that haven't annoyed me this race. So we'll keep an eye on that gauge on the bottom right. I think it's the water temp that's giving us trouble. Oh, that oil temp's pretty high, too, over there. Looking at that as well. Well, this didn't go well. Not all races do. Sometimes you get body slammed into the wall. Sometimes you, uh, give about two car lengths of space on the straightaway and they still find a way to come down and hit you. Or find you down there. I mean, I'm like... I was like on this lane, kind of like straddling a little bit, kind of get my tire. I've got like all the way up here. I mean, it was on the back stretch it happened, but it's the same concept. Come the fuck on, dude. Reckon? Me too. So, here's where you're supposed to be. Control your car, and that wouldn't happen. Here's where this guy came and got me. Roughly right about here. Not sure what's happening up here. But uh, I don't think I'm catching them at all or anything. Seems like they just uh, got together a little bit. Running uh, out of time to benefit from anyone being in a wreck or anything.
water temp and stuff. Temps are not being an issue, thankfully. Not yet, anyway. It could still be slowly crawling up. We got a guy going into the pits. That's interesting. Are they calling it a day? Is that a free spot? Or 8x, by the way. Sucks. It's going to be nothing. There's not going to be no silver lining in this race. Okay, so that guy left. So, if we uh, log some laps here, we'll get 26th. That's why you come back out, I guess. Plus more corners to... Uh, Help soften the blow to the safety rating. I'm just I'm just flat footing it essentially with no regard to tire saving or anything. There's no, none of that matters at this point. I'm just logging laps. It's not going to be entertaining probably. Unless I run the high line. Whoa! Is that Kyle Larson? Whoa! Now watch this. That was a Kyle Larson. Here comes Tyler Reddick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like Tyler Reddick. He's probably one of my favorite current cup drivers. Yeah! Tyler Reddick. He crashed in the next gen test today, and I felt that. That's me crashing in the next gen car. If uh, lead group catches us, we're just gonna pull off the track. So I'm not interested in being in the way. The guy's going 20 miles an hour faster than me. So we're just logging laps. more uh, laps and we'll be past the 29 who left. Doesn't look like they're going to be wrecking though. I think at this point uh, we are it's too late in the race for us to uh, gain any even if they wreck. I think it's pretty close. Jack, I'll let you have it down here, buddy. I'm not going to hurt me a bit. Look out, look out, look out. Still got 18 seconds back for the leaders. Dog, you did what I didn't. Highline. Car's so tight now. I guess because of the pow there's less power now, so it's uh, it's not getting uh, that looseness. Great job, good to go. Yes, great job. Fantastic race going on here. Man, racing is a roller coaster, man. Go from the high to a really like fun ARCA race here at Michigan to the lows of just getting destroyed with the Xfinity car at Michigan. I'm telling you, this car's my kryptonite. I don't know. I, just, I never do well in this thing. Pedro, you're trash. For whatever reason. Uh oh, the guy I was worried about earlier who always seems to cause a, cause a wreck seems to uh, have angered someone. Sorry, Mike, I was not, sure not surprised. Second in place. I think we might. Uh, let's do six laps down. If they just straight up leave right now, maybe we can gain that spot. Your car's too damaged. You just want to leave. You towed. You're done. So we can have a green white checkered finish. Okay. Oh yeah, green white checkered, forgot about that. So Yeah, we definitely have the potential to pick up some spots if like that guy leaves. Pick some more damage. We'll get tires on it, because why not, I guess. There we go, 26th. That's one scavenge. My uh, super villain name is going to be the Vulture, as I scavenge the spots. It's open. I'll make my comic book about it now. It's going to be like 30 pages of just an empty track in front of me. It's going to be a bestseller. Just you wait. Mayors, it's been
There he is. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if we wait around the pit speed limit? Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Watch your speed limit in the pits. It's fine, you got loads. Box in a five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Oh, did I fix all the damage before? I guess I did. I forgot. Tires were worn, though, so get some new tires on it, I guess. Okay, punch it. We're just gonna be uh, put in the back, so. Guess we'll just let them by now. You are out of tires. Line up, single file. Pass up, 27, gas. Up, trying to let him by. <laughs> half effort did it. Even half effort. We're gonna be uh, put to the back. Hey, Mr. Christopher. Oh, my brain is foggy because I am no longer invested in this race. What's your name? How are you doing back here? One to go. Nick, come by. My brain is a bowl of chowder simmering. On the stovetop. Oh, yeah? My brain is from those dare commercials or whatever, or the anti drug commercials. You know, this is your brain on drugs, and then it's a fried egg. That's my brain. Not to say I'm on drugs, I am not on drugs. Except for prescription for my anxiety and depression. But that doesn't count. I am on the drug of terrible racing, and it is causing brain fade. Why did it not send me to the back? So Brandon, why are you uh, why are you mad because I moved up to the top lane? I don't I'm get that. confused. Whatever. I practiced that. I was going 25 mile an hour faster than you, and you did it. I mean, you're allowed to do it. I just I don't like having to jump out of the gas. Well, look at the alternatives. If I didn't go to the top lane, we'll just go way outside and let them zoom past you us. No big deal. You're fine, dude. Um, you're allowed to do what you did. Lots of angry people in a race that probably should have just been clean and respectful. About to go green. Stay focused. I guess overall it wasn't a wreck fest necessarily. I mean, more wrecks than I think there should have been, but I mean, we had a couple of green flag runs. Green, 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 green. Got two left to go. Car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. If we get hit, I'm gonna be mad. Clear inside. Car inside. You're up top, three wide. Hold your line. Okay. Right side, two wide. Clear inside. The guys that race the hardest are always the guys in last. Like, yep, take it three wide, sure. Couldn't have passed them on the exit of corner or anything. That never would have worked. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. White flag. One more to go. Happy didn't end up, uh, end up being able to pass the 21, unfortunately. Who, uh, yeah, stayed in the pits, but uh, at least we can let off the gas and not get caught in their garbage up here. Stay 100 miles away. And thus concludes the Garbage Fire 125, brought to you by U.S. Bank or something.
Brought to you by Glad Trash Bags. Brought to you by I don't know. Soap. Soap brand soap. Clean up this nastiness. Oh yeah, let's take a look at that again. See, that's about car length and three-fourths. I gave him two lanes. And oops. Sorry, I took a little bit of your two lanes. I guess that's all it takes to wreck. Alright. Let's see what else we can complain about. <laughs> this is really the complaints 125. I don't know how many actual laps, miles it was. Quick estimate. Two mile race, one six or sixty eight laps, so that would be one thirty six, something like that. That happened. That happened. That happened. <laughs> I'm so not invested, I'm sorry. 23 doesn't turn into the corner, so he has a uh, history, I guess, of not holding a line. Alright, so you've established that you're going to be taking this line, huh? So that means when you enter the corner, you're expected to be down here. Where are you? Not down there. Doesn't turn into the corner. In fact, doesn't even make the corner. So, good job. I wasn't even his first victim. This guy's just getting loose. As many people were. Look at swerving on the straightaway. You gotta be able to control that. It's a thing to the thing that happens with these cars. You gotta be aware of it. At least we hit the wall. Cause I was uh, trying to run the high side and hadn't practiced it enough. What happened here? That's just a self spin. Mm-hmm. So you don't even lift, huh? You're not going to lift to try to save it? Well, I mean, why would you? When you're this far back. Still in the gas, by the way. Still in the gas, by the way. Still in the gas, by the way. So either that's... That'd be nice. That's a very... Very low understanding of what it takes to save a car from spinning, or... Well, I guess a spin wouldn't be so bad, would it? Mm-hmm. Alright. That happened, too. Why am I in blimp? Here's me, holding my line, minding my own dang business. Where did I go wrong? Being back here in the first place, that's probably my mistake number one. So I'm running the high side. That's where I want to be. I've decided by this point in the race, that's where I want to be. Just comes up and gets me and just... I don't know. You know, I know for a fact you got a three wide call. Nope, just run into me. Okie Wall tap. Well, he still doesn't know how to not hit the wall in turn two. Thankfully, I wasn't on the outside of him that time. Ooh, well, that's a tough one. Seven's a little too low exiting the corner, but... Hard to blame too much, because that's just tight racing. That's just tough. Seven probably needs to be higher up the track, but uh, it's not like he's way down. He's just probably about three-fourths of a lane down, and it, it just was enough. And as we've seen, it gets super wild. Hard to control. Oh, that's that's Kale Gale, too. 
Um. Jesus. I mean, I don't need to say anything. You can see it. Well, I'm gonna remember that name. Until they prove to me they know how to not run into people. I'm gonna have to remember the name and avoid them at all costs. Together on the front stretch. The wide editing of the corner. So it's kind of pushing him up the track so he can get the line he wants. Three. Way too far down the track. For no reason. 19 was doing that thing where he had a weird disconnect or something. So he got that going again. Just in time to hit the wall in entry. It's wall exit. 29 goes up the middle three wide and a uh, net code helps it become a wreck. Quite an aggressive move for 19th. Then again, he had a really strong run, so I mean, I guess get it. It probably would have been fine without the net code hitting the right rear right there, because whenever it hits the right rear, it sets him at an angle coming up to now hit him some more. So that stinks. Well, it tears down the wall. Ooh, not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. Leaves the lane open, though. Throw them up top. Let them come by. All right? Got to acknowledge when someone does something courteous, at least. You know, not trying to block them after you get into the wall. It's on the 6, I think. Just runs them over. I'm gonna say that's in the 6. I've had bad experiences with 12, but I don't think that's on the 12. Maybe that was a bit of a block, and maybe that's what the 6 took exception to, but I'm not sure if that was even intended. It's hard to tell, because these cars can be so kind of wiggly on the straightaway. I don't even know if he meant to turn that into a block, but yeah, 6 just kind of runs them over. Sticks his nose in where it didn't really belong. If that's the wreck that they called him trash over, I'm not so sure. Oh, that's why he's angry. Because he was blocking. So let's see how this goes down. Five gets down here and he blocks. Yeah, that's a little infuriating. So maybe that's why the six felt the need to just drive into him. I don't think that justified doing that. And potentially taking people out, but uh, just a lot of overaggression up here, it sure looks like. And again, it's getting close to the end of the race. I don't know. Not how I would race, but... Whatever. It's a bit of a door touch there. Well, it's blocking while off the pace, it looks like. Yeah, that's... This one's on the 12. So he's blocking, is that what we're seeing here? Yeah, he's blocking while that guy's got a huge run. So, he's down there. Did he try to take him out? If so, that's hilarious, because he just destroys the wall. Yeah, he tried to take him out, I think. Because he was angry. I wonder if we can see from the cockpit view. Let's watch his wheel. Eh, he might have been trying to save it. <laughs> it almost looked like he tried to hit him, though. But I think it was still just out of control. And uh, this is the guy that, unfortunately, there was uh, not enough green checkers for us, uh, green white checkers for us to uh, overtake. Get too many laps down. 
Oh, that was looseness, I guess. We had to check up a little bit for him, and that's what got him all out of sorts. This is gonna cause a bad situation. I'm curious how this went. Because you know they're gonna be three wide after that. They're close! Oh, it holds it together, though. It is possible. On the track that's this wide. Looseness. Rear ending. Ball. Lots of excitement. What was this here? Was this retribution or was this guy not paying attention after the checker? Eh, it looks like a guy that is upset. What'd he do to him? Probably something a long time ago. So it doesn't look like it happened any time recently. Would have been before this last caution, so. Alright, stinky race, because we got run into twice. And uh, almost last. Uh, felt like I was probably... 10th to 15th range. Probably in here. In the end, but we got taken out a couple times, so we end up down here. And uh, we beat one of the guys that hurt us, but not the other guy. And that's that. All right, I'll see you next time. Sorry for complaining so much, but sometimes you just get a lot to complain about. And that was this time. So hopefully next time it'll be a more optimistic experience. See you later.